I'm not addressing the press, I'm addressing members of the party. I don't mind the press capturing, but I'm just saying I'm addressing members of the party. Chongo, gather everyone here. First, I want to thank all of you. And through you, I want to thank the many members who turned up today. The SG, thank you very much for the wonderful turnout for the Central Committee meeting today where decisions were made and the SG and the Department for Information will communicate through the press about those important decisions that were made at the Central Committee meeting today. After our party secretariat was besieged by the police, we came in the morning to come and ask the police why they are not allowing us access to our property. While Vice President and others were inside, His Excellency President Edgar Lungu was denied entry into police force headquarters, a thing that is totally diabolical in any democratic state. For a former head of state to be denied entry in a public property, in a public office, it has never happened anywhere except in a dictatorship. Anyway, President Ed Galungu is a law-abiding citizen. He decided, you have refused me, I'll go away and I'll send my people to come back. They told us in the morning that they are going to phone us at 14.30 for us to have a meeting with Inspector General of Police. When we went to the Secretariat in the afternoon, again there was more tear gas. There were again rubber bullets. When we were expecting the police to call us, instead they unleashed police force on us. That's the reason why a few of us came to the police force headquarters to come and meet them. And I want to inform you that we had a good meeting today. And number one, they have assured us that tomorrow we're going to have a meeting with them at 10 hours. Now, for all of you members of the party, 
That is your party secretary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. There is nobody who can come to your house and evict you that because we are protecting you. If you want to protect me in my house, you stay at my gate and allow me to be inside. You don't evict me. So all of you members of the party, I appeal to you, tomorrow morning, let us all converge at the party secretariat. If they are going to tear gas us again, we'll be choked with tear gas, but we know what we're fighting for. I can assure you, like I said on Saturday, this is not a fight for the weak. But you members of the Patriotic Front have never been known to be weak. Let's stand up and defend our party. Let us defend Zambia's democracy. Just think of it as you go home tonight. Just think of it. President Edgar Lungu served this country as member of parliament. He served this country as deputy minister. He served this country as minister. And he served it as president for seven years. And he is entitled to benefits as former president. On Saturday, those of you who were standing not next to him, you could feel that it was not only his mouth which was talking, it was his heart. The man decided, I am going out of this luxury because I want to defend my party. If a person can do that for your party, you must also ask yourselves, what about me? What am I doing for my party? Edgar Lungu has shown you he's willing to sacrifice everything. As I speak to you now, President Edgar Lungu has even left that house. He has gone somewhere else because he doesn't want to be treated like a kid. This is a call for all of us. Let us emulate President Edgar Lungu. Let us sacrifice. Those of you who came today without us facilitating, that is sacrifice. You stayed there without lunch being provided, without water being provided, that is sacrifice. Tomorrow, until we tell you that the war is over, let us continue to protect our party. We in the leadership shall be with you, we shall swallow tear gas together with you, but on top of that we shall pursue the police. And because there is press here, I just want to say, there is a limit beyond which you can't stretch a rubber band. You can stretch it up to a point. There is a point where it snaps. So the police and UPND, New Doom government, must know that our elasticity, the elasticity of our patience, is also limited. There comes a time when a person who's pushed against the wall also pushes back. So I'm hoping that tomorrow the police will tell us how they want to resolve this problem and that they will give us access to our property. That is our property. And we have no vacuum in the party. We have no vacancy. We have President Edgar Chagwalungu who was elected in 2021 with a mandate that runs until 2026. Mm -hmm. Whoever in between comes up with a monkey and hunky funky tricks those are the ones that must be arrested, yes. not us. So please go in peace. You conducted yourself exceedingly well. I want to say to you that even when I reported to President Ed Galungo, I told him, I am proud of your party. I am proud of your members. Even when they are pouring tear gas on you, you are not throwing stones. That is the peace that you must show to everybody. We are a peace-loving party. However, they must remember the elastic bands also it's snaps. Enough. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.